you can pick whichever of the papers you want to use, whichever of the reading assignments you want to use. And you should use the one that seems most interesting to you, most, most fun to read and most uh, stimulating to you. So you're going to pick that. The first thing you do is tell me the, the, um, the name of the article, who the author is. The next thing will be a one-sentence statement of the central hypothesis. This is the, the core um, uh, statement, the core uh, 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 goal of the paper, what they're trying to falsify, what they're trying to test. This is not necessarily verbatim. This is your, this is your interpretation of that. Um, they might, might have looked at four different things in the article, but you want to provide one overarching hypothesis uh, of which those other maybe sub-hypotheses would be um, um, examples of. So once we have that statement, then we're going to have a one paragraph summary of the, you know, what the paper found. Great. Good. Do that. Um, this is, again, not, this is kind of like an abstract, but it's in your own words. So you should not copy and paste the abstract. If, if in there the author stated the, the, one of the um, hypotheses, you should put it in your own words as much as possible. So this is not a copy and paste effort. This is you sitting there digesting the information and then, um, uh, uh, processing it. Uh, so that first paragraph, and this is just, you know, three, four sentences, not a long paragraph, just what did the paper find? Next, a brief paragraph, just uh, some summarizing your impressions, your interpretations of this paper or, or this work. So I lied because of this, this inspired that, I was wondering, this makes me think about this, I wonder if that might maybe be, be implying X, etc. Again, just three, four, five sentences brief. And then you'll end with um, uh, a few uh, simple uh, bullet points. Good things, bad things about the paper. Now this could be content, this could be presentation, this could be the style of the graphs, the readability of the graphs, it could be the, the, the quality of the research, it could be whatever. And so two or three bullet points about things that you like, things that were good. Um, these do not have to be full sentences, these can be sentence fragments, it's okay. Um, and then uh, two or three things that were a poor about the paper that, that didn't work too well, that you did not like about them. That's it. So one page. So here we go. Again, the title, your name should be on there. The title, the hypothesis, one paragraph summary, one paragraph impressions, and then a couple good and a couple bad bullet points. That's it. I strongly suggest you do this for all of your readings, and this will really help you after you finish doing the reading, go back, do this. It'll help, it'll help, um, solidify the, the learning in your head. It'll help you retain the information, et cetera. It'll be great as a reference for you for our exams and other things. Um, and then the last thing to say about this is you do not, when you first reading these articles, we, we had a little bit of a discussion in the lab about how to read articles. Of course, it's fine to open up the article, start on page one, go all the way through. That's not how I read articles. That's not how most of my scientific friends and colleagues read articles. Rather, I will read the title of the article. Okay, it's about this. Then I'll jump to the abstract, kind of skim that. Then I jump to the results and I look at the figures and the data. What did they actually find? Okay, okay, I see this. Okay, I got it. And then I'll jump to the methods and skim the methods and try to figure out, okay, how did they do this? Was this a, were they using satellite data? Did they do direct observations themselves? Did they do surveys? Um, uh, you know, that. And then I'll go back to the introduction and start reading. So that's, that's how I read, but realize that these um, technical papers are structured in such a way that it's easy for you to jump around to look at the references, to look at the discussion, to look at the methodology, et cetera, and feel free to use that. Um, if you want to go page one, page two, page three, that's fine, but um, you are more than welcome and indeed encouraged to think about other ways to navigate this content in a way that, that helps you best interpret, understand, and learn from this stuff.